So in the last video, we calculated the entropy change for some water freezing, and we saw that the entropy change was negative. So is it possible for the entropy of a system to decrease? And the answer is yes, it can. Absolutely possible. So we have to look at our laws of thermodynamics to understand how this is possible. It says that the universe's energy has to remain constant, so it cannot change. The second law, right, which is this amazing law that tells us what is possible, says that the universe's entropy has to increase. But the thing to remember is that the universe is made of two different regions. It's made of the system or the chemical reaction, and it's made of the surroundings. And so the idea is that the sum total of those two things has to be bigger than zero. So for our ice cube example that we saw earlier, right, when we froze 25 grams of water, this went down by 30.6 joules per Kelvin. So that tells us that the answer to this problem is that the entropy of the surroundings has to increase. And not only that, it can't increase by any old value. It has to increase by at least 30.6 joules per Kelvin. So it can increase by a larger amount, but that would be the minimum value that it could increase and not change the entropy of the universe in a negative direction. So it tells us now that in order to see if something can happen, we're going to have to find a way to calculate the whole entropy change, not just the system itself, and then compare it to this equation. And I often think about this equation as a traffic light. So when we do these calculations, if we calculate the entropy of the system and the surroundings and we get a negative total value, that is like saying that that reaction cannot go. If we add the change up and we get a negative value, that is like saying the reaction can go. And it turns out if we add it up and get zero, it turns out that that will tell us the reaction is exactly at equilibrium. So there's no net change. Doesn't mean the reaction can't proceed, but it can't proceed in any way to make an increase or a decrease in the reactants or products.